Welcome to another episode of Pear Tree Ranch, and I'm Jake. We're here with our Problem Horse series. So we're continuing with Cisco. The last video you saw us, we were doing the groundwork lessons with Vicky, the owner, and we just wrapped that and turned the camera right back on because I'm gonna hop on, have a ride, show her some of that stuff, and then we're gonna work towards getting her in the saddle and having a ride back on her new horse. So follow along. Okay, so first things first, sit still, rub on him, massage on his neck, and you're just feeling for any kind of tension or worry, I look, I see his eye is very starey, right, not blinking, not thinking, or he's doing all that thinking internally, and so I want him to be able to look to me and relax not feel rushed off. And it's always nice to be able to bring their head around. See, he relaxed to that, that touch. That's not really off the rein. And that's just a nice way to keep connecting with him, getting him where he's sharing how he feels and not feeling rushed. Now, turning fixes forwards and backwards. So a lot of the way that we helped him with knowing he could go somewhere with his feet to get to forward was when we tied his head around, we taught his feet to go laterally, right? Step to the outside. And so there he's starting to kind of look and chew. I would want to be able to get his attention, nose, neck, lead his feet. I might flap my legs a little bit a little clucker out to the side and if i can then release him to walk off turning gave me forward okay so if he feels tight i'm gonna do a lot of turning and i really want to be able to just get him to walk and just go along for the ride not have to fiddle with him the more you touch their face the more you can mess up the forward okay we spend a lot of time on the shaping and the flexion system because I want him to know that the reins are just for shaping. Like, see that he's backing up? I need a little more nose neck first. So I might tickle with my legs to just say, hey, you don't have to move. Just shape. Just shape. And if I need to do a little right and left, right and left, there he licks and chews. He kind of comes on back. There he starts to tuck the chin. I want a lot more nose and neck than the feet. There. Okay? So it's important to recognize that. If we get in a hurry and he starts backing, when we did one backing and we jam our legs on, that's when the yucky stuff happens. Okay? Now, if we can be going somewhere, I'd like to be able to use my leg and I'm... I'm flopping it around so you can really see that I'm using it. I might change the bend and then move the leg to drive him out and around. And as soon as I did that, that head and neck dropped and relaxed. Okay. Now again, we looked at your homework from before was to practice holding your reins in a way but then you're reaching down one at a time, okay? And I'm just working one leg to kind of drive him up there. 
And I'm not really going to the spur. I'm just being loud with flopping that leg. I'm not even really letting the strip hit him. I'm just kind of letting my calf bump off him. So he gets to kind of experience this noise and not have it be sharp. I don't want to dull him to it, but I don't want him to worry that it's going to be sharp and he's going to get jabbed. Now, when he looks to the outside, I'm going to just keep inviting him to come in here. I want to be able to see this eyeball so he gets comfortable seeing me there, not feeling like he's got to worry about the outside. What can cause that worry on the outside is if you're spurring him in all the time, okay? It's real easy for cowboys to want their horses to spin, and so we start jamming them off the outside leg. We've done the opposite. We've gone inside leg to outside rein to push the bend and relaxation into them. Once that starts working, then I can start sitting to the outside. That tips the weight back, okay? And if I can just lightly close his hand, that tips the weight back, that starts, there goes the shoulders and this leg came off as soon as he stepped. And again, the leg was just resting there. I didn't have to spur into him or anything. I just want to get him soft to go back. The left front's the next foot to move. There, over, over. So an eighth of a turn. If he's been, go, go, go. Get your front end around. Get to that canter lead. Off the outside leg. And then outside reining, that makes him feel real jammed up. Okay? So I don't want him worrying about looking to the outside in anticipation of that leg, I want him to just follow his nose and then eventually, see as soon as that outside leg and rein, his nose came out. So we gotta be careful to not rush to that. And then when he wants to kind of stand around and really take that relax, I'm gonna just sit. That's a moment I could get to going, come on, come on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just kind of get through a walk track canner to just feel them out. Yesterday was kind of the first day I started with a little of this. See how that brings the head up? I need there. I need to be mindful of that, but this keeps me from jamming my legs harder. But if patting his butt to encourage him to go makes him feel scared or worried, you got to be careful with that. So to be quieter with my legs, I can drive him. But I also want to be able to rub him. We keep that balance. And I waited a long time to go to that because I didn't want him to feel rushed. Now, notice patting him here can give me the outside lead. I just stay patient. Give him his brain. If I'm doing anything, I'm encouraging his nose to think just in a little bit, and I'm lifting. Yeah. See, and that head up is just tension. So don't worry about the outside lead and get to putting that outside leg on. See, there goes the head and neck. There goes the head and neck a little bit starts to reach it forward. And I would just finish with a little bit of there and not next to the gate. If anything, I'll let him come in. Now, you don't have to canter this horse at all. You could just walk on this horse for months and just get him to feel really good about walking and stretchy and being light and relaxed. And you just cruise around, and make a lot of good friends, okay? We don't gotta hit a home run on the first date is what I'm saying. Okay, we can hold hands for a long time and be okay.
There. You can see when he starts to bring that in and relax. There, like that. There, like that. I got the canner. There, where I'd like him to be. And it'll be able to canner like that one of these days. But I don't need to rush because the amount of feel on his face I'd need to give him is too much for his sensitivity to the legs. That's what'll give him that. Okay. So we don't need to go back there. We just keep going, hey, you can or you're good. Act like it's his first time and make a big deal out of it. I think of the movie Big Daddy. You ever watch that with Adam Sandler? And the little boy goes, but I wait. They're coming, CPS is coming to take the child away because it was actually his best friend's kid and he pretends it's him because he's trying to impress this girl and the little boy, they end up start trying to take him away and the little kid doesn't understand. And he's yelling, but I wipe my own ass. He's five, <laughs> right? Like, he, he's like, but I'm being good. It's like, don't make him feel like that's not, everybody wipes their own ass. Like now you make, you discredited yeah. that thing. You be careful with it. this kind of a horse, especially. Don't discredit anything he does. That's a good behavior. That's awesome. I think you're great. More times we say that to him, we keep building him up. He feels good about us and himself. Okay. So the biggest thing for me, I call this ride the monkey off your back ride. Getting in the saddle, walking around, and getting off is plenty. That means you got back on, monkey is off your back. Okay, You don't have to do a lot. It's just a win for you to get back in the saddle with this horse and have a walk. Okay. And the next time we can do more and more and more. And we just feel it out. But when we keep that the priority, instead of feeling like you got to do, now you do everything I just did, that's pressure you don't need and he doesn't need. Okay. All right, we're going to get stirrup shortened and organized. Get you on. Okay, so in case you couldn't hear me, uh, being far enough away from the camera, this is the monkey off your back ride. Get back on that horse. No pressure. She gets up and off. It's a win. It's a first ride back. <clears throat> we had the conversation as we were switching the battery out on the camera. How you feeling? Feeling good, as long as I don't have to do everything you just did. And that's the idea, is being comfortable with. We don't have to do a lot and have success. So we're going to get her on. When in doubt, with this um, rein and lead rope set up, I can give her a pony ride and hold that rein. we are just got to find where can we have success. Start there. Something that's working. Build our way up. So we're going to get her up and on. Have a little cruise. Get off. High five. Win. So enjoy. Feel good? Yeah. Okay. Here. Need. And the biggest thing is, I'm right here. Okay. okay. I would sit, rub on him. Feel how that just. Yeah. yeah. He likes that little squeeze. Yeah. Okay, now we're talking. So then from there, I would just lead him off. When in doubt, you can lead him to me and I can walk around and he can follow me. There are so many ways we can have a win, okay? okay? And you're kind of in the driver's seat. Now, I might reach across to grab the wheel if it comes to that, but I want you in the driver's seat and so you speak up if you get to feeling nervous, worried, confused, whatever it is, it's easy for me to help you from there. Okay. okay? When you're ready, stop leaving off. So, perfect. Okay. 
see, we can kind of just have a target like that. Okay, now, and if you don't want to do that, just lead them that way. No big deal. There it is. Good boy. Perfect. Good boy. Perfect. And as you're ready, you can invite him to go. Okay. okay? I at least think about three, two, one, and let's go. That way, I take a moment or more to respect whatever the horses did that was appropriate okay and then build up from there that's it good and then you can do more and more and more you can start to shorten that time because he thinks this is the answer and it's a good answer yeah that's way better than other stuff yeah yeah but people can get kind of tired of this mm -hmm. and so you just ease your way into that was fine last time but now let's do a little more there, so now a little more leg, so it's like more than three or four steps, maybe you go, come on, right over here and then relax. So you kind of have a target in mind for him. Let's just make it over here. There, see how he kind of freed up now? Now you could go, wow, you went twice as far as last time. That's a win. So now, if that was a quarter of the round pen, maybe you could ride a hat. There you go. Take your time. If he just sees something comfortable, he sees me in the middle, and you just go, no big deal. You were super polite with your rein. And look, you went a little more than a quarter. So that was further. But right at a quarter, he started to go, oh. No big deal. So now you go, maybe I can ride a hack this time. Sit there, and you just ride with a little more leg. Say, come on, we're not there yet. Just give him a little. There you go. A little more. There you go. There we are. And then just a little more, if you're ready for it. He's blowing out, he's looking and chewing, so he's not being bad. You just keep a feel, like if he starts thinking about, I'm gonna have a little lay down, you could say, hey, let's go. There you go, a little more. Right up a little more. Now, there's some life. And you could go, oh, that's perfect, thanks. Okay, now let's work a little back up. So I want you to slide down the reins, soft and easy. Put one in each hand, yep. There you go, there you go. Nice and easy. Perfect. Okay. Tell the people how you feel. It feels good. To get the monkey off the back and keep it simple like this yeah. is a great way to start. And it's easy to do more and more mm -hmm. later. Now, if we get sucked into this, oh, I'll just do it later. And it's always later. Yeah. That's a dangerous habit that people can get into. So we're not going to do it forever, but wait until tomorrow is okay for now and we can have that more. And again, we'll be back tomorrow with Vicki. She'll come and do more and more on her own. I'll do less and less when we get them ready to go home at the end of the week. You happy? Happy. Good job. If you guys are enjoying what we're doing, make sure you give us that like. We'd love to have you subscribed. And to get subscribed, you can click here. To see another video, you can click here. See you next time.